Hi there, Paul Dombowski from Liberty Street Software. In this uh, video, we're going to show you how to install Asset Manage. Uh, we're going to start off with a simple single user install and then show you how to install for multiple users. And then later on, we're going to cover the scenario where you s perhaps you set up the program as a single user and you want to move to a multi user environment. And we'll show you how to do that. So, um, first of all, let's go through a single user install. Uh, here I've got the setup program running. I'm just going to click on Next, to agree to the license agreement. Now here on the third screen you're going to have the option to set it up for anyone who uses this computer only for the current user. And if there's just one person going to be using this software, um, the default only for current user is uh, acceptable. Now you would select this other option, anyone who uses this computer, if um, you have multiple people logging into this computer and, and who need to use Asset Manage. So. Uh, that's the only situation you want to do that. I believe uh, if you've set up, um, also if you've set up uh, Asset Manager to run under Terminal Services, you would also select this uh, uh, this option as well as you'd have multiple people logging into this computer to use Asset Manager. So, anyway, next, uh, this is the folder where we're going to store the Asset Manager executable file. Now, when you're running Asset Manager, each user has to install a program on their machine, so. Each user has to run through this setup program, and in almost all situations, you just accept the default program files asset manage. Click next. Uh, now here, uh, it's going to give you a, a, the default, which is uh, a folder under uh, my documents, uh, the documents folder, which is where most Windows programs are going to install uh, their data files. So, and for a single user install, uh, you can. Right here, we're just uh, setting it up to a folder on the local hard drive. It's possible uh, you could change and set it up so that it uses a external drive that's plugged into the machine. But obviously, you have to have that drive plugged into the machine each time you want to use the program. So uh, anyway, we just click next. Uh, install Asset Manages. Uh, what Asset Manage does is when you create an image to be attached to one of your uh, assets, it it creates a JPEG file for each image and it's going to store it in the folder you specify. Now for a single user environment, um, it's fine just to have it locally to your hard drive, uh, but obviously if you're running a multi-user environment, you need to put it in a place where everyone can access. So, Reports, same thing. Um, so I'm not going to go through the entire single user install because uh, it's after this you're just going to click next a couple times and it'll install. Uh, I'll go back to the beginning and let's, uh, let's assume that the, the, the company that bought the software wants to use it for multiple users. Let's say we want to use it for two, two separate users. Uh, so you're going to run the install, click Next, Agree, Next again. Uh, in most cases, only for current user. Now when we get to the data file, here's where we need to make a change. Uh, we need to store the data file in a network folder that each user has a read-write access to. So We'll go ahead here and select network. Uh, Liberty Street 64 is a machine I have in the in the other office behind me. Um, let's say we're going to store the data in. Is that data? Okay, so it's going to put the asset managed data file in Liberty Street 64 output asset data. Now, each person that installs this program, that runs through the setup program, is going to point this data file location to the exact same network folder. And each user has to have, like I said, read write access to the folder. Click Next. Again, uh, if you're using a multi-user environment and you're attaching images, uh, right now it's set up to just store the images locally so the other user would not be able to see them. So you have to change that as well. And I'll go back to the network again. Liberty Street 64. And create a folder called Asset Image. Obviously, it's not mandatory to create a folder. You can uh, use an already existing folder, um, which in, if 
for the subsequent setup of this program, you're going to already that folder will already be, already be created. So the second user and uh, users after that will just select the folder that's specified in this initial install. So, okay, so we've done the same here. Uh, you're going to see go through the same process with the reports folder. Um, uh, now, this is not 100% mandatory that you share the reports folder because I guess I, I assume it's possible that. Uh, each user would want to have their own reports and that may not need to be shared with another user but in most cases they would be so just change that as well click on network library state 64 I'll put asset reports next So you'll see the, the setup program store all the files in the locations that we specified. And that's just the getting started video that shows after you uh, finish the install. So let's just go to the Windows uh, Explorer here and I'll see this is the uh, folder where I, this, where I told the program, the setup program to install the data file. So we have an assets.mdb file here and asset images shows the, uh, when you install it, when you install the demo, you're going to get a sample image for a sample asset that stores with the per that um, ships with the program. So uh, uh, now notice that for each image, you'll also have a thumbnail, which is the little a miniature image that shows up in the list view so anyway okay so go to asset reports uh, asset manage has stored all the reports that ship with the program in this folder and uh, as as users add new reports or edit existing reports uh, the updates are going to be stored here so now let me go ahead and run the program and where is that So I'm running Asset Manage. Now, if you look under Tools, Preferences, uh, you're going to see the the uh, the folders on the network that I specified during the install. Now, the each subsequent user of the program is going to basically uh, select the same folders, like I said. So uh, they're going to just choose the same folders and once you've done that uh, the data file will be shared the images will be shared and the reports will be shared so that's a simple scenario of a multi-user install okay so now we're going to go through this scenario where um, let's say you've uh, bought uh, one user license of the software and, and someone's been using it uh, as a single user and you want to move and expand it so that uh, multiple users can use it and they will be sharing the same data file. Now uh, if you've installed as a single user we'll assume that that's already happened so you should have uh, documents asset manage uh, set up here and the asset uh, assets.mdb file is here for the single user. Now to use it for multiple users what we're going to do is you have to manually copy these two files here if uh, actually just actually you just need to uh, copy this mdb file here um, hit copy the users file that you see here is used for user permissions it's not going to be it's going to be created the first time you decide to set up user permissions uh, after you install the program there are no user permissions and the first person who uh, uh, the defines a new user is going to become the administrator. But anyway, I, I'm going to go through that in another video. It's quite a huge, large subject. So, uh, so what we need to do is let's say we've already set up those folders on the network that I uh, had created previously. Um, what I would do is copy. I'll go to the folder first, asset data, and um, I'm going to copy the file from the single user. Now. In your experience, uh, you're probably not going to see these files at all uh, because the folder will be empty until you actually uh, copy the files over there and 
there won't be anything in there until you actually um, install into there or copy into there. So anyway, uh, so I click on paste, place the file, um, and I'm going to do the same with the um, images as well. So on this machine, we've got documents, asset manage, asset images. Uh, we've only got a couple images here, um, but what what you would need to do is copy all the JPEG files from the local installation of the local asset images folder and you would copy them into the network one same with reports go to the local reports menu and copy into asset uh, asset reports here so Now, let's go ahead and wait for this to finish. Now, you're still set up to run the program uh, as a local user on this machine. And, okay, I, I had a little delay there. I had to set up something for them, um, revert it to single user. Uh, so let's cover the scenario where you have a asset manage set up for a single user and you want to add additional users and you want everybody to be using the same data file. Uh, so first of all, we've got a single user set up here. And as you can see here, now one thing you can do is under file, you can select go to data folder and that's going to open up your data folder. You can see here everything's local to the uh, this user's local hard drive. Um, and remember before we copied all the data, the data file and the images and all that over to the network. Uh, but when you go back and run the program again as a single user, it's still going to have the, uh, the settings uh, set up as, as if it's still a single user. So what you have to do is change in the preferences, you have to change the folders. So right now the person is pointing locally to the local hard drive, but remember we copied the data file from here to the uh, shared folder on the network. We did that for all three of these uh, folders here as well. So now that we've done that, we can, we're can we safe to go ahead and change the folder name. So we're just gonna click there and you're just gonna select Network Liberty Street 64 output asset data okay and you're just going to do the same here I'll put asset images and asset reports up here Okay, so now exit the program and run it again. Now it's, uh, as you can see, if I go to file, go to data folder. Now, now it's uh, taking the data file from your shared folder on the network. Okay, so everything's been changed. And uh, once you've done that, um, now this user is operating from the network so any change this person you makes to the data or images or reports is going to be reflected in, with every other user that is uh, share that is pointing to the same folders as this one so uh, now if you're having trouble changing those uh, preferences make sure that the user is uh, has permissions to write to the Windows registry because I'll just show you here. I'm just going to run a program called Reg Edit, which is the registry editor. And what happens is if you install a program for the current user under computer H key current user, uh, you're going to see software, Liberty Street Software Asset Manage. And in this uh, node, you're going, 
all the folders are going to be defined. Uh, now, as you can imagine, if the, if the user does not have permission to write to this Windows registry, uh, these folders are not going to be saved. And what I think what happens is the, the program assumes you use, you're using the default folders, which is under My Documents, etc., etc., so it's never going to be able to change the network folders. So. Uh, Remember, remember in that to install the second, uh, third screen, um, you had the option of installing for single user or for all users on this computer. Well, if you'd selected all users for this computer, instead of the information being under H key current user, it's going to be under H key local machine. So you're not going to see it now because it's not a setup, but you're going to see the exact same um, uh, setup under H key local machine. Anyways. So um, that's that's a that's an overview of, of uh, how to set up uh, Asset Managed Standard. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, let us know, and we'd be happy to do uh, uh, videos on any other subjects that uh, you're interested in knowing about. Okay, thank you very much for listening. Take care. Bye bye.